The formula changes for each person. So some people who are very lucky never have success, and others who are not do, and so on and so on. So it's a, it's a difficult one to answer. I don't think there is a single answer, I'm sorry to say. But uh, it's certainly a combination of intelligence, diligence, hard work, inventiveness, creativity, and curiosity are very important. I think life processes, chemistry involved in life processes is going to become increasingly important. I think we're going to solve problems like you know, how does disease of one type or another, what happens, what, what, go, what goes wrong, how can we prevent it, and, and so on. And it's all chemistry. So we'll, we'll discover that. It's, Maybe not um, you know, brand new type of chemistry, it's an application of chemistry, but it is still chemistry. So that's, that's one area. But material science, uh, chemistry that will help solve uh, our problems with global warming and the like, um, you know, using, using the sun as a source of energy, these are all you know, in, uh, going to be important chemical problems and worth working on, and they are now. I would say that you know, if they like to do chemistry, then chemistry is a very important area. I like to say everything is chemistry. You can go into many different areas, environmental science, or you can go, go in many directions, but you have to know chemistry. And if you love chemistry, you should continue to, to do it and apply it maybe uh, in some way because you know, there are many, many different ways to do chemistry whether it's academic or not, many different ways. Industrial, people in industry, of course, want to make money. That's why they are in industry. That's what they do. Uh, the social pressure, I think, whether it's global warming or whatever, is certainly justified. That would benefit, benefit everyone to solve those problems. Uh, I think it's important to have some pressure of both of those types. But I still feel that there's a lot of room for basic research and basic curiosity and inventiveness. I mean, that's the fun part about chemistry. For me, maybe not for everybody, but um, it should not be all top-down, as I say. There should be some discovery and curiosity-driven chemistry as well.